Let us look into this problem which has three charges. This time charges are not arranged in a line, but they are arranged in a triangle shape, as you see on this diagram. This charge, Q3, is not given magnitude, but we are told that it is negative. This statement is so helpful, which make it easier for us to draw electric field patterns on Q1 and Q3. Take a note that we ignore the effect of Q2 on these field patterns. I am sure by now we know that if we draw electric field patterns around two unlike point charges, the direction point towards negative charge, the electric field lines must touch the charge and must not cross each other. That is how the electric field patterns around two unlike point charges are drawn. Let us remind each other that on two like point charges, the field patterns around are drawn as so. And on single point charges, on positive charge, the field lines are drawn as so. On negative charge, the field lines around it are drawn as so. The arrows are so important to put them because they show the direction. We are instructed to calculate the magnitude of this charge, Q3. Bear in mind that the net force is given to be 13.83 newtons. We use the Pythagorean theorem. Force Q1 on Q3 to power 2, plus force Q2 on Q3 to power 2, all equal to the net force to power 2. So, we will need to calculate this force and this force. Force Q1 on Q3 uses this distance. Substitute as so, and we get this number attached to this unknown Q3. Same applies when finding force Q2 on Q3, we use this distance. We get this number attached to this unknown Q3. Then we take these numbers to pluck in this expression. Remember that net force is given. When you calculate this, we get the magnitude of Q3 is 510 to power negative 6. The unit is Coulomb.